Why has Daniel Lissing's departure changed his life for the better? Who did Andrea Brooks name her child after? And what kind of relationship do Pascal Hutton and Kevin Smith have? Hi, my name is Janet, and today I'll be telling you about the private lives of the When Calls the Heart cast members. Pascal Hutton and Kevin Smith. The chemistry between Rosemary and Leland is so terrific, they even played lovebirds in a different Hallmark project, The Perfect Bride. It's no surprise that the show's fans have started suspecting that the actors who portray sweethearts might be onto something in real life. Is it true? It actually is, but it's not what you think. Both Pascal Hutton and Kevin Smith liked each other from the first meeting, and that mutual respect has turned into a great friendship. These two are always laughing on the set, and if you don't believe us, look at these hilarious photos! However, it doesn't matter what kind of a relationship Pascal has on screen, as she has a loving husband and two wonderful children waiting for her at home. Danny Darage and Pascal Hutton met nearly 20 years ago, when the young actress was just 19. Did she believe that she would soon marry the guy and have two children with him? She probably could, as Danny told her on their very first date that one day he would marry her. Do you find it romantic or creepy? As you can see, he kept his promise, and some time after, Pascal gave in to his persistence and married him. Kevin Smith is also happily married. However, he doesn't reveal the details about his love life. He mentioned on his Twitter account that his wife forbade him from posting any pictures from their wedding, so we have no idea what she looks like. In one of his interviews with Parade, Kevin mentioned his sons. However, this actor's love life is not the only thing that the Hardys are worried about. Perhaps Kevin Smith will be the next person to leave when calls the heart, and we're afraid the show might not survive this. After Lori Loughlin's departure, many fans stop watching the show. Who knows what might happen to the show if another favorite character leaves? Lori Loughlin and Carter Ryan of Ansick. After last year's scandal, we might never see this actress on our screens again. That being said, we can't underestimate her contribution to the show. Abigail was a beloved character, and her sudden and even out of the blue departure was the reason why another actor left the show as well. Of course we mean Carter Ryan of Ansick, who portrayed Abigail's adopted son, Cody. The dismissal of the young actor really angered the fans of the show. Some even refused to keep watching When Calls the Heart. The future of the actress herself doesn't seem bright either, as her dismissals from When Calls the Heart and Fuller House were just the tip of the iceberg. Now both Lori and her husband, Massimo Giannulli, do not know what to expect. Lori and Massimo met each other shortly after Lori split with her first husband, Michael R. Burns. The lovebirds dated for two years before Massimo proposed to Lori in the most romantic way ever. The designer popped the question with 500 roses. Can you imagine that? They got married on Thanksgiving Day in 1997, and they were living happily ever after together until the recent events that shocked the whole world. They have two daughters, Olivia Jade and Isabella Rose, who were quite famous on the internet even without their parents' name. The girls had millions of followers on social networks and plenty of advertising contracts, but that all disappeared when their mother made a decision to help their daughters enroll into an Ivy League college by any means. But what happened to Carter Ryan Avancic, who also lost everything? According to his Instagram, the young actor keeps living his normal life, goes to school, and meets up with his friends. We hope that in the future he'll be landing even better roles, and the role of Cody will only be the beginning of his career. Daniel Lissing and Aaron Krako Jack's death and Daniel Lissing's departure from the show became a breakthrough moment for the show. Unfortunately, the death of this character was the only way to write this actor out of the show. We all know that Jack would never have left Elizabeth. Circumstances arose for me where I needed to leave When Calls the Heart for reasons that are very personal to me, Lissing said during a Facebook Live following the season 5 finale. Despite the fact that he sometimes misses his time on the show, the actor does not regret leaving. In his interview with E.T., he revealed that had he not left the show and continued starring in season 6, he would have never met his fiancée Nadia. He would have never ended up where he is now, either personally or professionally. Now I can look at my future wife and say, oh, should I have stayed on this job? She's my life, you know. That's my personal life, and that's exponentially more important to me than a job. It seems that in real life, Daniel is just as romantic as he is in the show, doesn't it? Daniel and Nadia got engaged last fall, and the actor revealed the details on his Instagram profile. Happy news to share! 
I get to marry the love of my life, alongside a photo of him and his beloved kissing. His fiancée, Nadia, who is keeping her last name private for now, also shared the news on Instagram. She wrote, "...couldn't imagine spending my life with anyone else." She revealed the details of their meeting in an interview with ET. The two met at a bar about two years ago, and she instantly thought Daniel was hot, but could be a little crazy. I'd never met anyone like him before, that's for sure. I felt an instant connection, she told ET. With him, she feels as if they've known each other their whole lives. While Daniel and Aaron were working together, the two kept posting cute pictures of them together, which made fans wonder. But despite the rumors, you can see there is nothing going on between Daniel Lissing and Aaron Krako. Who is Aaron dating in real life, though? Unfortunately, we have no idea, as the actress chooses not to share such details. Andrea Brooks and Paul Green Andrea is another actress who might be leaving the show soon, too. Andrea plays Faith Carter, and her relationship with Paul Green's Dr. Carson Shepard is one of our favorite storylines as of late. The reason for her alleged departure might be her child, whom she gave birth to at the end of the previous year. In an interview with E.T., the actress revealed that she named her daughter after her great-grandmother, Viola, and that name has always meant a lot to her. On her Instagram, the actress often shares pictures of her daughter, who is really cute. However, she is in no hurry to reveal the identity of her husband. Her on-screen love, Paul Green, shares more details about his love life. Last May, he got engaged to his longtime girlfriend, Kate Austin. He popped the question during a romantic trip to Italy. Something extra romantic happened in Italy last night, Paul wrote on a post announcing the news. I am very excited to share my engagement to the most gorgeous woman, inside and out, that I have ever met. Beyond thrilled to begin this next chapter together. If you study their Instagram accounts carefully, you'll notice that they've been together for more than five years. They both are very active, they enjoy traveling, and never miss an opportunity to spend some time together. Kate is a strategic intervention empowerment coach, and she is not a very public person. But it was she who made Paul believe in love again. Paul shared this story on his IG account. Based on past failed relationships and not wanting to hurt or be hurt again, he said, I found it very difficult to commit. But in his relationship with Kate, the actor has found his freedom, and that has changed his worldview. Isn't that cool? Eva Bourne and Aaron Buckles Clara and Jesse stole our hearts from the very start, and every step of their relationship has been inspiring. It's not every day that one can see such a beautiful event like their wedding in Hope Valley, right? Although this wedding wasn't real, in an interview with E.T., the actors revealed that shooting it was very special. Aaron shared his experience and said there were a lot of mixed emotions that day on set. Both the crew members and the actors were excited for all the fun scenes they had to film. Eva and I were feeling sentimental over all the past years and memories leading up to the wedding. There were some happy tears, lots of laughs, and surely a day we'll never forget. Although the chemistry between these two actors is very strong, off-screen, they're just friends. From the very beginning of her work on the set of When Calls the Heart, Eva and Aaron starred in many scenes together. Working together brought them closer, and the two soon became great friends. Aaron Buckholds revealed in an interview with My Devotional Thoughts, Unfortunately, we have no idea who these two are dating in real life, but we are hoping they are just as happy as their characters. Kevin McGarry and Chris McNally We have placed these two together as the two of them are the main contenders for Elizabeth's heart. They are rivals on the screen, but in real life they go to interviews together and take pictures with Aaron Krako. Just look at them! How can you not fall in love with them both? However, in real life, Kevin McGarry's heart has been long taken by a mysterious stranger, Alex Herzog. Even though the actor doesn't share the details of his love life with his fans, we have known about the relationship since 2016. We haven't heard any news about them since then, but we are hoping they are still doing great. Chris McNally's heart is not free either, as in an interview with North Shore News, he mentioned a mysterious girlfriend he is living with. He said she was South American, and that's all we know about the actor's private life. Quite mysterious. Martin Cummings and Jack Wagner Cynical Harry Gowan is not that cynical in real life. However, it took him a long time to find his real love. In 1998, Martin Cummings tied the knot with an unknown actress, Brandi Ledford. Their relationship lasted six years before the couple suddenly broke up. 
We don't know the reasons for their separation, but more than 10 years later, Martin met the love of his life. Six years ago, he married Christine Wallace, and they are still going strong. Martin Cummins is the father of four children from two marriages. However, his kids' identities have been kept away from the media's gaze. Jack Wagner, however, does not hide any details of his love life. He met his first wife during the filming of the show that made him famous. If you're a fan of soap operas, you must have seen his face on your screens often. Jack's most famous role was in General Hospital, where he met his wife Christina. Their characters Frisco and Felicia were an immensely popular couple on the show, and their real-life romance only added to the fan intrigue. The two got married back in 1993 and got a divorce 13 years later. Despite that fact, they remained friends. Christina even played in When Calls the Heart. You must remember Nora Avery. After the divorce, Jack began a relationship with Heather Locklear, who he'd met on the set of another soap opera, Melrose Place. They started dating in 2007, and four years after, they got engaged, but broke it off before getting married. Which story did you like the most? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to our channel.